Hey guys, my name is Jimmy, aka Palette of the Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Warhammer video. Of course, it's a bit of Warhammer painting time again now. Um, as you can see, in front of you, finally, we've got good old Xandria Azure Vault painted, assembled, mounted on a base, all that sort of good stuff. Um, it did take me a while to get around to printing it and to get it doing it because of all the stuff going on in IRL. Uh, but now that we've got her, as you can see, she looks pretty cool. She's battle ready um, and ready to cast some spells and everything like that against the hordes of Night Haunt. Um, but stick around and we'll crack on with uh, how I got achieved the look that I went for. So first off, as you can see, I've used Retributor Armor as a base coat for the armor as per usual like we have with all the other Stormcast. But what I'm doing here is, you can see I'm using some Kislev Flesh over the face to give her that kind of look uh, and to make it look like she's actually human and not just a grey plastic model. Um, so you just go into all the gentle details. Uh, then all you do is slap over some Reichland Flesh Shade over the gold armour like, like we normally do with all the other Stormcasts but with a bit of difference put it over the Flesh face um, with that as you can it's exactly the same as the Flesh Tone video I did not long ago um, with the Ogre if you want to check that out the link is up above right now but just make sure you get all that Flesh Shade into all them recesses give you that warmth and depth. Once that's done of course and then it's all dry, dry brush over your good old retributor arm back over it as well to kind of pick out all them edges and then highlight highlighting areas um, and give you that kind of sheen back to it, that kind of nice bright gold look. And once that's dry all I did was use some Kislev flesh back on the face again to pick out but raised areas but making sure you're not going into all the recesses so it still gives you that kind of shading that kind of look of living flesh and not just one matte colour just don't forget to pick out little details like the ears uh, and then of course she's wearing a cowl that kind of forms part of the headdress so all I'm doing is using some of that and black to kind of cover that over And then what we do is we've added some bad and black over to things like the gauntlets and stuff like that um, and the back of the kind of knees and the areas around there uh, and what you can see and what I'm doing is I'm using some iron breaker to kind of put down a very base layer for some of the metal work around the scabbard for the sword and for the sword hilt and pommel itself. Then we move on to painting the actual cloak. Um, as per usual, starting off with Nagaroth Knight on that purple. It's exactly the same as what we've done with other Stormcast before. And then for the inside of the cloak I'm using some Corax White as a base coat kind of layering section so we've got a nice different kind of contrast of colours so it makes that cloak stand out a lot more as well. We used it on other parts as well of the model and other parts of cloth. Once that was dry, it's a bit blurry, but what I'm doing here is using Apothecary White uh, contrast paint over the Corax White. This will 
go into the recesses it works like a shade in a lot of ways especially over white paint um, it kind of gets a little tiny bit clearer as you can kind of see but my hand is in the way of everything so it won't focus on it very very well um, which is a bit frustrating I must admit even though I'm frustrated with myself for doing that but then back onto the back of the cloak while that was all drying um, and as you can see I've used some Corax white on the plume of that headdress uh, we're back with some Zer Zerius Xerxes uh, I've forgotten what it's called uh, Xerxes purple um, over that cloak to pick out their areas just leaving the recessed areas so it's always got that kind of natural kind of shading behind it Then what I'm doing is I'm using some of the Contrast uh, Blood Angels Red paint on that plume. Um, this type, that type of thing will save you a massive, massive amount of time from going over with different shades of red. Um, there is a step missed here because what I've done is I've gone back over the buffer carry white with some more Corax white to kind of layer up over that uh, inside of the cloak. Then I'm picking out some of the silvery details that I wanted to do. So the, the kind of the hammer or the anvil symbol, should I say, on the, the cloak pieces uh, and the little details on the insides of certain robes and the actual, her actual staff as well, which looks far better with Stormhost silver in all honesty. It looks very very neat and very very nice and bright and quite shiny also picked out certain areas that act as jewels as well which is very very handy when you do things like that for painting over with certain other colors that may give them a more of a metallic kind of jewel kind of look um, and then what you can see what I'm doing here is I'm using that scabbard. I wasn't 100% sure what colour to paint it, so I went with Nagaroth Knight. So it fits in with the rest of the model, um, but only Nagaroth Knight. I did not paint over with any other colour, no edge highlights at all at the moment on that model. Um, and I don't intend to put any highlights there as well. As you can imagine, the hardest thing was getting into those little gaps and little crevices in certain areas. Um, it wasn't very focused, but what you can see I'm doing here is I'm just doing adding some gold to the hilt of the sword as well. Makes it stand out from that Stormhost silver as well, which is always nice. And then some very, very fine edge highlights of Gene Steeler purple on the edges of the purple areas of a cloak but not on all of them so you kind of get more of an edge highlight in that area when you're doing this as well don't forget on them to do things like the shoulder pads that she's wearing make sure they're matching the rest of it rest of your army and stuff like that and then I'm adding some detail pieces as well so don't forget those so it's a bit of blue on the uh, on the salt spirits spirit bottle that she's carrying um, so I think I've used a couple of different colors there so it's mainly kind of like uh, Altdorf blue 
uh, and things like that on them flames on the top of the staff as well you can do these any color if you wanted to you can do them green or red if you wanted to or different shades of yellow that will make them stand out and make it kind of look like some etheric fire that is coming from her magical powers And then all you do is add some highlights. So what I've done is I've used some Temple Guard blue to highlight them areas, um, some of the raised areas. So it's got some different shades. Uh, and what I also did, I used a little bit of white over it as well. And as you can see, them silver jewels, silver that we painted earlier for the jewels and stuff like that on the top of the staff have now been covered with the contrast Blood Angels red as well. What right, then? And that's it so it's pretty basic a lot of the details we've gone over before in other videos um, fairly simple to do um, but make sure that when you are painting it go over any mistakes that you make so if you've kind of accidentally put a splodge of white somewhere or something like that go back over it with the color that it should be so you can kind of clear that up um, other than that though guys thank you very very much for watching uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video if you have hit the like button subscribe all that good stuff if you've also painted this model as well uh, in a different style why not tweet it to me um, just find palette dead on Twitter I'll hit put a link in the top of the description uh, and probably on the screen now um, and yeah just send me a photo of it and yeah let's have a bit of a chat cool right then guys I'll see you next time in the very very near future for a bit more painting, a bit more Warhammer talk.